All right, today is October 1st, 2016, and we're looking at uh, Hurricane Matthew right here with 150 mile per hour winds. Uh, the core of this storm looks like it's been split into two. Uh, there is uh, there is a transmitter hitting this storm, and ma mainly it's on the uh, left side here where the where the eye wall is. The most uh, intense part of the storm is where the eye wall is. If we look at this in the uh, in the rainbow loop, we can see that eye wall right right there. And then we have uh, an area right in the center, which looks like uh, they are trying to split split this thing in half, but that's not working too well. And uh, so the storm is also sitting pretty much stationary. It hasn't moved a whole lot, despite the uh, Hurricane Center uh, forecast and uh, stats right here, which shows the storm is moving uh, north-northwest at uh, 7 miles per hour. So if that was the case, um, this storm should have moved, uh, you know, a couple hundred miles over the last uh, 24 to, you know, 30 hours. And uh, so, but uh, it is uh, pretty, pretty close to the country of Venezuela, which is not a friend of the uh, United States. Okay, so if we go back to the, uh, the Hurricane Center map here, we have stats right here, 150 mile per hour winds. Core pressure of 940 millibar. That's fairly low pressure. That equates to about about 13.63 uh, psi. 13.63. Now the normal uh, pressure, atmospheric pressure at sea levels, is, is right around 14.7 psi. So that gives you an idea. 13.6 uh, psi. So that's a little over a pound per square inch lower. And so this will create a lot of a lot of uh, violent uh, wind, and, and that's what we're seeing here. 150 mile per hour winds, category four. Uh, yesterday, this storm was a category five for a few hours. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, water vapor loop again. We can see the, uh, the blast pattern over here on the left side, which is where that eye wall is located. And we have this other half of the storm, which is also being targeted, but mainly over here is where they're. Uh, you're hitting the uh, left side of that pretty hard. And so we have a, a spinning vortex over here. This is a second a disturbance right over here. This is a, another disturbance with a 10% a a chance of hurricane formation right here. And so they're not going to move this storm over into that area uh, based on what we're seeing today. That's not going to happen. So the storm is pretty much parked right here. This, this could be a, a rerun of uh, Hurricane Joaquin. There was a similar situation right off to the uh, north, or rather the east-northeast, right over here, away from uh, Joaquin. They couldn't run it out there. It started to move into the Gulf of Mexico, and then it was an area of high pressure zoomed across and pushed that hurricane right back into the uh, Caribbean right over here. And this uh, storm sat parked last year at the end of September for about three days, if we will recall. And that uh, the tail of that storm, the moisture field went right into, uh, I think it was South Carolina for about three days. There was a thousand-year flood, and uh, nobody on the news could uh, connect the dots. Uh, people uh, drowned. A giant 900-foot cargo ship named the El Faro uh, went down on that Category Five storm, and uh, nobody is uh, on, on. Nobody on television is. Telling us the truth, the uh, weather people, uh, everybody's playing stupid. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these other maps. We have the, uh, the rainbow loop. We can see that uh, Venezuela is right here. And Venezuela and the U.S. are not getting along too well right now. Uh, and have not for several years. Uh, Hugo Chavez, of course, is, is gone. But uh, the problems and the, and the, the uh, diplomatic relations between the two countries are not that great. Uh, Venezuela is accusing the United States of organizing a coup in that country to uh, take over, uh, overthrow the government. And that some of that information is right here in this uh, Wikipedia article. If you just put uh, United States of Venezuela relations into a search engine, you'll find this article fairly quickly. It's right on the first a page of results and so this is interesting because uh, not only is that storm parked because of uh, other extenuating circumstances but it happens to be parked right next to a country that uh, 
is not too friendly with the United States. And that is uh, for a variety of reasons. Uh, for, you know, there's a, uh, well, I won't get into that, but uh, you can read a lot of the uh, history of all that on the internet. Let's just go back to the weather and take a look here. We have uh, the, the uh, visible light map. And you see the eye wall here on the left side. And then we see all this overlay, this uh, photoshopped overlay, which hides some of the uh, detail. Go back here, we can see that there's something right here. Pen tip is right there. Right there. Now, if we go to the water vapor mode, it's about halfway through the loop. Let's try that on this one. Right here is what we're looking at. That looks like a pinpoint a blast right there by the microwave beam, right there. And that's right about halfway through the loop, right here. And we see the Photoshop. Go back to the uh, the other map here, the rainbow map right there is where we were just looking on the visible light map. And of course the very next frame is blocked out so we can't see what happened next. Anyhow, what they're doing right there is that's uh, helping to split this core in half. And that's why there it looks, it appears that there's two separate storms, but actually that's one storm. I can assure you they can break this up anytime they want, but they're not. Uh, if you just review uh, all of my videos uh, going back over a year, uh, there's plenty of evidence to show that uh, they can do anything they want. All right, uh, let's go on to the next maps. Uh, we have a map here of Venezuela. And that hurricane is basically parked right about here. Right about here. And it's forecast to move north. All right. Uh, next is the uh, well, that's the west coast. I'll come back to that. Here's the uh, the uh, Atlantic surface analysis map. Okay, so offshore we see a hurricane force system. This is way out out in the uh, North Atlantic. Uh, here's the United States way over here. We have a developing gale up over here, and then we have Hurricane Matthew way down uh, here in the uh, tropics. And we have this low pressure, which is uh, spinning. It's th this actually now. This is the big news. This is no longer stationary. This is being moved away. We can see that arrow. They're going to move it out to the uh, east northeast. In fact, let's go take a look at the map here uh, right now and uh, take a look at the uh, northwest Atlantic water vapor map. And we can see this huge area of uh, this is a was a surface mid and upper level low. We can see that it's now moving away. <clears throat> and so <clears throat> because of the because of what's happening here and also what's happen happening over here, there aren't too many options at the moment uh, for Hurricane Matthew except for uh, to keep him parked where he is, right near uh, Venezuela. All right, so uh, We'll have to keep a very close eye on things here and see what develops because we've got high pressure here of course we see the uh, clockwise rotation we've got something trying to spin counterclockwise right here and we have this huge uh, development right here big giant vortex and there's a very large cell right there we can see that actually it looks like we've got a right angle uh, forming they've got a transmitter on that for sure and we can see that right there there's a huge uh, <clears throat> rectangular shaped uh, feature right there. So they are definitely working on that. Um, next map, we have the Northwest Atla Atlantic uh, map. Um, you can see development right here. This is that uh, disturbance out there. Here we have Matthew. Here's the West Coast. We have not a whole lot going on. We have this uh, upper level low pressure, which has a transmitter right through the jet stream flow. It's basically a rerun of yesterday. This is sitting 
uh, sort of in a parked uh, pattern. It's not moving much. And we had uh, fairly warm temperatures today. I'd say they were about, uh, the uh, temperature earlier was around probably about 87, 88 degrees. Got pretty warm up here in the foothills. Currently right now we have 65 degrees. The uh, relative humidity is 65%. The dew point is 53 degrees and the barometer is reading 29.98. Okay, so that's the uh, west coast. Not a whole lot to report. This is no longer even showing up on the uh, hurricane map. But for now we'll uh, leave it here and keep an eye on uh, Hurricane Matthew, which is just uh, sitting in a holding pattern, it looks like, pretty much. Okay, so that's it. We'll do another uh, update tomorrow.